C-A-Y-N-E, that's me, yo. Rest in peace to PB and Rock. Rest in peace to PB and Rock. He did not deserve to die. If you guys uh, haven't been living under a rock, no pun intended, you would know that it's just a lot of crazy things going on here, man. Homeboy PB and Rock was killed out of Roscoe's trying to enjoy a nice meal with his family. And then some dudes came in and just shot him. First, they robbed him. They robbed him for his jewelry. Then they shot him up. Rapper named PNB Rock, and he had a lot of devoted fans. One of them spoke to us here at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffle uh, this morning, and he says he is heartbroken. He was unique. He had a specific, his tone of voice was just, um, you know, something you never heard before. PNB Rock's real name is Rakeem Allen. Originally from Philadelphia, he made a name for himself blending melodies with his rapping. In 2016, he had a hit called Selfish, and he collaborated with other artists like Chance the Rapper, Meek Mill, and Ed Sheeran. And his girlfriend were eating lunch here at the Roscoe's on Manchester near Maine yesterday. A man with a gun came up to his table and demanded the jewelry he was wearing. Witnesses say Rock argued with him. They say the robber shot him several times, removed his valuables, ran outside, and got away in a waiting car. Rock later died at a hospital. He was 30 years old. It is a bold crime, and it's uh, tragic that two people come to eat and enjoy their meal, and they're getting robbed while patronizing a restaurant. BNB Rock almost predicted his own death. He gave an interview to a podcaster a few days ago and said that he was worried that increasingly rappers in L.A. were becoming targets of robberies. He said, it happens in broad daylight. Anyone can die. Bro, it's getting crazy out here, man. That's why I'm like, bro, if you are a rapper and you are real flashy, bro, it doesn't mean you should be killed and robbed. But you got to understand that there's a lot of crazy, jealous, insecure, small dick minded, uh, feminine energy ass dudes out here that just want to rob you and just because they're so jealous of you. It's like what, you know, what they say, roll the boozy clip, Vlad talking about boozy talking about, hey, hypnotized with hatred because they couldn't make it. They couldn't get there. They don't have the work ethic like you do. They didn't find the loopholes. They didn't find the connect. So when they see somebody that looks like them, that's shining, doing good, driving nice whips, got a, a girlfriend that's actually pretty because some of y'all be banging these girls with y'all you know you ain't attracted to them right but these guys got girls that they that, that are attractive driving whips that are cool doing cool stuff taking vacation stuff that you could do too if you put in the work but because you don't have that work ethic or the or the the will to find the loopholes to get those connections you see somebody that's doing it and you get mad you want to shoot them jack them you want to just get mad and you man it's pathetic bro jealousy is just it's it's inevitable but it's just sad that there's so many jealous people out there who could really be doing big things if you just get your head out the gutter and put in the work but instead you got to kill people man it's just it's sad fuck all y'all jealous people bro like y'all y'all are just it, it's your fault if you jealous it's your fault bro but rest in peace to PB and Rock, man. I hate hearing stories like this, man. First Pop Smoke and all these other dudes, man. They just getting shot up. And then it was uh, Trouble, the guy that made, he had records with Young Thug and whatnot, man. He get shot up and uh, this whole rap industry, bro, if you're trying to get in this whole rap game to be like a legit rapper like in these streets, because if y'all go to these rap shows, like getting into the whole Kanye West vibe and all that, I don't know, man, because it seems like all these new rappers are all these gutter ass style rappers, bro. And the people that attend these shows, gutter ass people. So it's like you're going to be around a gutter ass crowd. You don't know what gutter means. Look it up, Urban Dictionary. But so you're going to be around these people day and night on the bus, behind the stage, your security gutter. You know what I mean? So I don't know, man. It's almost like, is it even worth being a rapper now? Because it seems like people can get so far in their career. He's like, you got to always be watching your back. But yet these rock stars and these these EDM DJs, these pop singers, country singers, they don't really be worrying about shit like that. I mean, these dudes be walking in, you know, barely any security. They don't got to watch their back like, you know, we do in the black and Latino community when it comes to rap. Like, we just, everybody's so focused on the song, jacking and killing each other. I, if you if you trying to be a rapper in these in, in, in this day and age, man, good luck, good luck. Um, you know, good luck if you really trying to be one of these club street trap 
ass rappers, man. If you go on the Kanye West, Kid Cudi route, you know, the uh, uh, Jack Harlow route, you know, okay, that's different. But all y'all trying to rap in this, it's a different, it's different levels to rap, bro. It's, I'd rather be with the Kanye West, Jay Z side instead of being with the, you know, the um, Pop Smoke, you know. Whatever other gutter rappers out there, that type of side, you know what I'm saying? The money bag yo type audience. I, I ain't really fucking with that shit. But hey man, again, going off on a tangent, but rest in peace to my boy PB and Rock. Let me tell you this, man. As a DJ, we gotta watch our back just like these rappers. We toting around expensive equipment, left and right. You never know who could pull up on you. That's why I tell y'all, man, if you can, if you can legally carry, man, hold your shit, bro. Carry. You know what I mean? And shoot to and I'm not gonna say it on YouTube, but in self-defense, because like, again, look at how PP and Rock, there's a lot of crazy people out here. If you can carry, especially us being in the South, carry, you know, you might not have all the chains and all that like PB, but you got expensive turntables, laptop and all that. Somebody might wanna jack you one night. So please watch your back as a DJ, entertainer, whatever you are, bro. It's crazy out here, bro. Uh, this is why I don't like playing like a lot of that real trap type music in the clubs anymore. You know, like the old school kind of Jeezy trap is cool, but this newer type stuff, this drill rap, I don't play that stuff, man, because I feel like it entices y'all to want to do that stuff, bro. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. We, we got to stop promoting this culture. Like, it's good it's good hip hop that can inspire our youth, but look at listen to the type of music they play at these high school basketball game listen to the type of music they play at pep rallies at middle schools bro i know it's like clean versions of these songs but these kids are not listening to clean versions of anything bro Li really listen to the music that your kids are listening to bro it is nothing but inciting jacking people robbing people smashing girls it's nothing i mean i know they had music like that back in the day in the 2000s and stuff like that but this is just like plain blatant this type, new type of music is so blatant, bro. Whoo, boy, it's crazy, bro. It is crazy. If you are a rapper, bro, get you some security. Fuck all this stuff about street code. Gotta be street, gotta keep, you gotta keep it real, man. Nah, man, you gotta keep it right. I'd rather keep it right than keep it real because a lot of weird ass motherfuckers out here, insecure, no self identity. These type of dudes will rob you over you getting $2 more than them. You know what I'm saying? You got, he got a Big Mac, he got a Big Mac Deluxe. Oh, now he want to rob you. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's crazy, bro. I just hate seeing rappers get killed, bro. Like, this, because he inspired, PB and Rock, like, he inspired, like, one of my, one of my best friends right now, she, she listened to PB and Rock when she was in grade school, and he, you know, inspired her with a lot of stuff, so, uh, and it's kind of sad that most of our idols nowadays are like fucking like rappers and stuff, rappers and singers and dancers and entertainers. Uh, that's for another video, but hey man, rest in peace to PB and Rock. He did not deserve this. And to the guys that killed him, man, psh, don't drop the soap. And uh, I mean, if you guys haven't gotten got back already, but hey man, rest in peace, PB and Rock. It's your boy DJ Kane. I'm out here. Yeah.